Josh Zepp is here with Broke is No Joke, the movement towards true freedom. And I'm here with Suzanne Evans. Good Hello. morning. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being with us. I just got absolutely blown away. Suzanne just talked to our organization, One Million Cups, here uh, this morning. And the stuff she was sharing was just incredible. Unbelievable. I asked her for a quick a little bit of her time. She's super busy, so we're not going to take a lot of time here. Um, but I wanted to ask you, well, first question I like to ask folks is, what gets you up in the morning? What, what gets you up without that alarm clock? What gets you excited? What's mm, two years? Uh, t two things. Um, one will be personal. One will be professional. Okay. Um, I don't get up in the morning. I have a two and a half year old, so ah. he gets me up. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I like that. Right. That's the best answer um, I've ever right? heard. Perfect. Um, but uh, but what gets me up in the morning is for me. I think money is, the, and this is so great because this is your topic. Money is the easiest thing in the world to make. To make people haven't been taught how to make it. So when we talk about what financial freedom is, people always go having enough money, having all the money you want, being able to do whatever you want to do. And none of that for me is accurate. Financial freedom is having made money, losing it all, but knowing how to make it up back again. So what gets me out of bed is not for people to make more money. It's for people to know the skill set that in any situation, they will never be hungry. So basically increasing their own value yep. so they can get paid what they're worth at any given time. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. I love that. And by the way, I just have to say, I love your mom. Uh, she yeah. told a story. Her mom actually taught her basically how to win. How I to mean, win? You, you, you practiced winning. You I've practiced never heard winning. that term before. You practiced yeah. winning. Can you describe that a little yeah. bit? Yeah. So I was, uh, my mom was a major competitor. She played softball, she played basketball, and so winning was kind of in her blood. And she, I don't even think she was conscious of it. She saw that the school system didn't teach you to win. Um, really, you know, church or community organizations, their focus isn't winning. And a kid who can win will never worry about a job. They'll always make connections, right? They'll always feed their family. And so at a very young age, she taught me to win. She would say, we're going to practice winning today. And sometimes that looked like just finishing something, you know, uh, understanding commitment, understanding completion. Yeah. Do what you said you were going to do when you said you were going to do it exactly how so you said So it's not always about it. beating someone else. No. It's about becoming better than we were yesterday. Yeah. It's As about John Wooden, the famous level. coach, would say, it's about the success pyramid. It's, it's competitive greatness, but with self. Got it. Yeah. I love that. Reminds yeah. me of Maslow's Pyramid. Yes, also, yes. About yep. self-actualization. Yep. Um, so why have we stopped winning? Why have we given up on that? What's happened to us that winning is almost, it's almost a bad thing now. Yeah, yeah. We've become consumed with fair, right? Uh, with we need parody. things to be fair, right? We need things to be, um, we, we've really almost become socialist in the game of competition. Which doesn't really work. It doesn't work at all. Not everyone can win. Not everyone can win, and okay. not everybody can be even. You and I, I am great at things I'm sure you're not. You're great at things I'm sure I'm not. So it's a great to celebrate differences, talents, uniqueness, but it's never going to be fair, right? Um, I'm never also going to be a supermodel. It's just not going to happen, right? I have a, I have, uh, this may not, surprise well. you, but my, my degree is in musical theater. So um, I am a you know, very successful business consultant, and my degree is in musical theater. And it would be like somebody coming to me and saying, I'm going to sing at the op Met Opera. And I'd go, great, let me hear you sing, and they're tone deaf. Well, it's just never going to happen. Right, right? right. So there is no fair, right? There is no fair. There just is. And so you take what you have and who you are and the body you have and the brain you have and the skills and the experience you have, and you figure out how to win from there, not how to be even. So have you even is impossible. Exactly. So how to be the best version of yourself. Absolutely. Max it out. Absolutely. U10.0. Absolutely. That's, got it. That is crucial. I love this. This is so amazing. I love the mindset stuff. And um, you talked about um, attention marketing or attention plan. Yeah. Like, and that's how people, you know, that's one of the most important things that people don't focus on when it yeah. comes to their business. Yeah. Can you just touch on that yeah. real quick? So we're living in an attention economy right now. We're living in um, a time where attention marketing is the key marketing strategies. And um, we all kind of can get consumed in Facebook algorithms yeah. and social platforms. And social media is worthless if you don't know how to get more attention off of the social platform. And the way you get attention is threefold, in my opinion. One is you need to disrupt the marketplace. Um, I hope, you know, I spoke this morning. My hope is in that room 50% of those people hated me. They were like, <laughs> she's a blowhard. Who does she think she Th is? Thank you for saying that because I think that way every time I speak yeah. also, I'm like, 
I think I pissed a bunch of people yeah. off. But I hope that's a good thing. Yeah. I hope and it was so, a wake-up call. Uh, so, and, uh, so I'm focused on that 50% who's like leaning in, right? Yeah. So that's number one. Um, that's kind of a disruption of the marketplace. Number two is you have to, we talked about this a little bit, people don't really want to be educated. They want to be entertained. And right now on this, I hope we're entertaining you. But Are you not nuggets, entertained? Right? <laughs> um, but they're getting nuggets from the entertainment. So even yeah. my event, you know, the one I was talking about this morning, that happens in a couple of weeks. We do something called edutainment. Right, it's tricking you into learning everything you need to learn through entertainment, um, and I think that's number two. And then number three is know your stuff. There's so many charlatans right now. There's so many people who it's easy to get a pretty picture yes. and put it online. Yes. Right, it's easy to just get out there. And so, be the person who reads more on your topic than anybody else. Be the person who t you know takes the most um, content in, consumes the most content, who takes the most classes, who continues yeah. to grow themselves. So know your stuff um, because anybody can get a client. You can't keep a client if you're not skilled at what you do. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That reminds me, I always tell people when it comes to money, don't listen to broke people on how to get wealthy. Yeah. You know how many people are unsuccessful on how to be successful? Yeah. Happy, Maria Angelo unhappy, says, happy, don't happy. take a t-shirt from a man, a shirtless man. Yeah. Right? Don't, don't ever uh, take a t-shirt from a shirtless man. There's right. something wrong there that that's he's not wearing a shirt, but he's going to offer that's you. That's right. Or sell shoes barefoot. There's all these yep, yep, analogies, yep. but absolutely. Yeah. So it's not so much about being familiar with the person. It's competence. Competence. And that's a, that's a word we don't talk about a lot is competence. Man. So how do people find you? You have a big event coming up. We do. Let us know what's going um, on there. May, May 2nd through the 4th in Orlando, Florida. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you can probably best bet is email us at help at Driven Inc. So we can get you like a really good deal ticket and you don't okay. buy the $3,000 ticket um, online. But that's May 2nd through the 4th. And you can find us at driveninc.com. Okay. Um, that's our website. And, and I do have a link from Ali. I'm going to put below oh, as well. Oh, great. Oh, great. So okay. I'm going to put that link there awesome. so you're going to be able to click on it. See, you guys are better. I just own it. the joint. Oh, I own nothing. I'm kind of with <laughs> you though. Right? Yeah. My, my special guy is behind the camera there. Yeah, so, there you go. Um, so there'll be a link here. Join us at the event. Three days, business building soup to nuts, how to add six to seven figures to your bottom line. You'll walk out with a notebook this thick of strategies and blueprints, and we also have a lot of fun. And from one of the top women entrepreneurs and business owners in the entire country. So this is if there's any event you want to go to, this is going to be the one. Last question for you. Yes. All right. This is a toughie. <clears throat> Plane's going down. You got 30 seconds left to live. You got time to text your family, people that you love, mm -hmm. the three things that are most important about either success or happiness in life. What are those things? Gotta be It would succinct. just be one sentence. Okay. Winners are happier, keep winning. Wow, that is the, that's great. Yeah. That's the that's shortest simple. one I've heard, that's, that's perfect. Winners are happier, keep winning, right? And okay. um, as we know, you know, um, if you're a happy winner, you're a happy loser. That's right. Happy is happy. Right? When it when it That's when it choice. happens that it doesn't work, you know you can use it to win next time. So winners are happier. Keep winning. There you go. There's the golden nuggets. So I hope you guys got some out of this. Go check out Suzanne's event. Suzanne Evans, I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. much. This I was appreciate great. it. It was great Thank meeting you. Thank you for your time. Absolutely. And this is this is my honor, by the way. This is all my honor. So all right. See you later. We'll talk to you guys. Bye.